Hello students, in this small video I will be depicting the principle of dynamic compression plating in simple diaphyseal fixture. So this is a kind of fixture which can be treated with a dynamic compression plating or shaft humerus fixture. So this is an image representative of a diaphyseal fixture which is displaced in nature. So the first thing that needs to be done is to reduce this fracture using bone holding forceps. Once it is provisionally reduced, you can secure it with a K-wire also which is optional in nature and or otherwise you can position the plate over the fracture site and then secure the reduction using plate holding forceps. Here we have used a dynamic compression plate of 8 hole size and 4 holes have to be positioned on each side of the fracture. So this will be the look that you will be getting after positioning the plate over the fracture site. You can see 4 holes are there on each side of the fracture. This will be the view when viewed from the front or you can call it a front view and this will be the view when viewed from the sides or you can call it a lateral view. In the lateral view you can see the holes of the plate are viewed in form of their cross section. And you can see this part appears to be curved. So actually this part simulates a curved cylinder and once a spherical object moves inside this cylinder on the periphery that means this part that a spherical object will glide in this part so that it gets seated in this region uh, we'll be coming to the example in coming slides that will make the things more clear so the first view that see needs to be drilled in compression plating is centric in nature that means it has to be drilled in the central position this so you have to select the appropriate size drill bit, drill the track and this will be the drilling track that will be appearing after you have drilled it. So this will be central in both frontal and lateral or sideways views. So once you have tightened the screw, it will get seated at a central position and the curvature of the slot will not affect the screw position. Or there will and there will be no motion of the fragment so this will be the final position of this screw once this has been tightened now the second step is to put a screw on the other side of the fracture and here you have to pay attention why because this screw needs to be drilled in eccentric mode eccentric mode means that it has to be drilled away from the fracture side and closest to the outermost part of the slot now meant for the screw in the plate so this will be the drilling tech and be aware when you are using manufacturer specific drill guide the arrow needs to be directed towards the fracture site. When the arrow is directed towards the fracture site it will automatically result in an eccentric hole. So when you are pointing the arrow towards the fracture site you will get this kind of drill hole. So once the drill hole has been drilled then you have to put the screw. And once this part the spherical part of the screw head touches the outermost part of the cylindrical slot of the plate hole then there will be motion at the fracture site why see this part has to get seated inside this slot and for this part to get seated inside this slot there needs to be displacement of whole fragment from here to here and the screw as well so this will automatically bring compression at the fracture site so you can see this mini clip in which you can see the motion of the fragment. The only thing that is happening here is that the screw is getting seated inside the hole and that is actually bringing the motion of the fragment towards the opposite side and this results in compression at the fracture side. So this motion will result in 1 millimeter of compression. Suppose you want additional compression. Then you have to drill another eccentric hole on the same side of the fracture once you have drilled it then again in a similar fashion you have to position your screw but before tightening the screw uh, so that the head gets engaged inside the slot you have to release this head why because this head is already engaged inside this hole and it will prevent the motion of this block towards the fracture site that means it will prevent the compression at the fracture site so you have to loosen this screw so that there is some motion of this fragment towards the fracture side. So once you have loosened it, then you have to tighten this third screw. 
and when this screw is tightened again in similar fashion there will be gliding motion of this spherical screw head inside this card slot and this will result in further compression now once additional one millimeter of compression has been achieved you can finally tighten this screw this will not affect your compression there are some concerns suppose someone can say that we have not tightened this screw and we are releasing this screw before tightening it that can bring distraction at the fracture site but that will not happen why because this screw is already positioned in the farthest position farthest position will allow compression but will not allow distraction that means this fragment cannot move in this direction because the screw shaft will block any motion in this direction it can only move in this direction and that will happen only when the screw is tightened finally so this will be the position of our construct when two essential screws have been applied and you can see once this screw has been tightened the position of second eccentric screw has been changed earlier it was somewhere here you can see in the previous figure so the position has changed from this to slightly more towards the fracture side like this so this will signify the additional one millimeter of compression that has been obtained because of this screw so once you have achieved adequate compression in the fracture side you can place the remaining screws in centric mode that means they will not allow any gliding motion of the screw head on the slot and thus they will not hinder your reduction and they will not cause any stress at the drilling track because they will be lying in the central position and this will be your final position once the screws have been tightened up your final position once the screws have been tightened up so that completes your exercise on compression plating for a simple diffuser fracture if you have any queries you can just email me on the given email id 